hey guys how are you doing god bless each and every one of you in the name of jesus i welcome you all in the name of jesus god bless you in today's video i'm going to tell you exactly how to cleanse yourself especially when you have a string sickness this prayer is for those who have moving objects in their body you know that thing you that movement that projected movement it sometimes it happens like pain it pinches them in the body and they've gone to different hospitals and they tell them oh nothing is wrong with you we're not able to see you've done so many scans and all that oh they tell you there is nothing we're not seeing anything and deep inside you you know this is projected you know it is spiritual and people that have moving objects it moves is either is on the head or is on your back or is on your stomach it keeps moving around you like there is something you feel there is something moving around you and one bad thing about this thing is this it keeps sucking your blood and you see yourself every time you're slimming down every time you're looking on kept you're feeding well low but because those moving things keep moving in your body you know very well it is projection yes some of them are projected animals like lizard oh yes i've seen it lizard some of them and you know those things when they go through your body they tend to suck out blood from your body i'm here to tell you the type of cleansing to do to get rid of it effectively this cleansing is simple and effective it may be strange to you because a lot of people do not know it it is a cleansing done with sand x yes and it is something that will help you it is something that will take out that projection completely before we go into the video if you're seeing me for the first time you're welcome you know it is not by accident that we met you're meant to see me you're meant to come across my channel so you are most welcome in the name of jesus if you're a lover of prayer this space is for you if you want to learn how to pray this space is also for you be a part of my community subscribe to my channel turn on your bell notification you know what that little bell beside the subscription um icon click on it it tells you when you click on the one all it tells you when i go live i go live twice a day 6 30 nigerian time for our beautiful morning declaration and 9 p.m nigerian time for hour of divine mercy you need the mercy of god i need the mercy of god so come join us as we pray in the name of jesus and i tell you you won't regret it i have over 1500 videos that has solutions and things to do to be free if you love prayers or you're looking for solution to life check out my channel i have a lot of videos talking about your situations and the solutions to them so click on it make the prayers believe in the prayers you're making and you will see a difference a huge one in your life in the name of jesus amen and amen this is a disclaimer i do not own an orphanage i do not refer people to any orphanage if anyone by any chance tells you to donate to a certain orphanage it is not me please be careful if you mistakenly pick up a wrong whatsapp and they're telling you to give them money to make prayers for you or to buy spiritual items for you that is not me please be very careful there are lots of scammers out there and please for those who chat me up on facebook i think i'll make out time to answer you but before then don't give anyone money i am not charging you a dime to speak with you to chat with you or to answer you or anything i am not charging you a dime do not do not give anyone a dime god bless you let's go back into the video there are lots of people going around with projected sicknesses in their body you've been to different hospitals it got to a point the doctor told you sorry there is nothing else i can do because they've tried their best truth is this what is wrong with you is not physical because if you keep going to one hospital to the other there will still not be solution because it is a projection it is a spiritual one and you need to tackle it spiritually so as to be free there are lots of people having strange sicknesses you don't know how it came about 
when I mean strange sicknesses, these sicknesses are so strange that even the, when the doctor heard of it, the doctor was marveled. I don't know if you can testify to this. But one thing I'm sure to tell you is this. There is nothing God cannot do. Men are evil. Days are evil. There are lots of people projecting all kinds of pains in the life of people. These days, I notice that people deprive, people actually derive happiness in people's pain. Yes. They inflict the pain in your life and the watch you suffer and it makes them happy. I've noticed that a lot of times. So hence, when people get into trouble, they are so happy. Oh, this person has gotten into trouble because what? Because you want to laugh at that person's predicament. And they can go any length to make sure they inflict the sicknesses. Yes, yes, yes. Let me tell you all a story before we go ahead. This cleansing is simple and it's something you can do but i want to tell you a story there's this young widow she just lost her husband she lost her husband and she went home to bury her husband guess what happened even on the day of the burial someone was projected sickness into her body she was seated i don't know in my la in my place a widow during the husband's funeral there is a certain place they make for her to sit so that place she was seated someone came you know how they pay condolence someone came oh we're sorry for your loss hugged her projected that thing she felt it because when that when that hugging came she felt a movement in her body you know when you when something enters you you will know she felt that movement but because she was grieving and a lot of people were there she thought oh maybe because i've been crying maybe that's the that's the that's why i feel this way so she didn't call it anything until she started being sick so imagine someone seeing that someone is grieving came to also do what heal her so that she would not so that i don't I, I i don't know what is wrong with people when i tell you enemies are real enemies are real this same story is a real one like before my eyes it is a real one so you'll find out that a lot of people de derive joy when other people are suffering days are evil days are evil so let's go straight to, into the cleansing for this cleansing you'll be needing a sand and a bucket but before you do this cleansing a day before you do this cleansing i'd advise you do a prayer for yourself go into fasting if you can do dry fasting good if you can do six to six do good but if you cannot as your spirit can as your body can carry you if your medication and you cannot do six to six no problem you can decide to do six to twelve six to one as your body can carry you then you pray your prayer will be forgiveness of sins ask god for mercy in any way you've been the cause of your problem in any way you've brought pain to yourself ask the lord to what to totally forgive you as you're asking him to forgive you he will indeed forgive you he's a merciful god god is not wicked he will forgive you and he will heal you so you're going to get sand i want you to get plenty sand because you'll be doing this cleansing for seven days this cleansing is for seven days you're going to get a sand i have sand with me and some people will say they don't know what is sand so this is it get it from anywhere it mustn't be your father's house it mustn't be anywhere you see sand pack and come okay pack it and come so you're going to put the sand in a bowl wash it first wash out the water first that's the first washing then you boil it you're going to put it in your pots any pots you know that is safe boil the water put enough to bait because you're going to use it and bait put enough water for you to bait so when you put the water allow it to boil allow it to boil very very well then you sieve it out allow it to cool down don't bait hot water so that it won't um it won't peel off your body so allow it to cool down enough for you to bait with okay then you begin to bait. Put salt into it. You go into the bathroom. You're going to be inside a bowel. Right? We're going to be inside a bowel. Or a bathtub. Whichever one. The reason is this. So that you don't spill the water on the floor. You don't. I don't want you to spill the water. So that someone will not come in there and match the water. Because what you're doing is cleansing. 
you're removing that thing spiritually so what you're going to do is this be inside that bathtub or be inside that bath the buckets that you're using be inside the buckets that you're using or the bucket you will use to bait as you're pouring the water let the water be entering you know as you pour i don't know how to explain this do you know children's bath i'm going down to my nigerian way do you know children's bath the one they use in baiting little children good you can be inside that type of bath right so that the water will not spill on the floor as you're baiting as you're baiting yourself as you're pouring that water on yourself the water will not spill on the floor as you're baiting you'll be cleansing today there is this thing my people call ijogu I don't know how to explain it in English, but if you're watching this video and you know what Ijogu is, please, can you translate to them? So as you're baiting, you're going to be doing Ijogu. In my little understanding of it in English, Ijogu is rebuking whatever they've done. I am innocent. This is what you're going to be saying. That is why you need to ask for mercy. I am innocent. Anything or anyone that have accused me wrongly, thereby projecting sickness in my body. I am innocent. And today I wash myself off. I wash myself off. Whoever that projects against me, let this projection go back to them. Whoever that is targeting my life, let this evil go back to them. Every moving object they've projected into my life, let this moving object be destroyed and go back to the sender. Let this moving object be destroyed and go back to the sender. Today, by the power in the name of Jesus, I cleanse myself from every object that deposited into my body. From every object that projected into my body. I cleanse myself today, thoroughly and entirely. And I declare boldly, I am free. I am free. I am free. This is what you'll be saying as you're pouring the water on your body, this is what you're going to be saying. So you also make your other prayers. Lord, I cleanse myself today. I cleanse myself. The reason why I'm using sand, because every human being walks on the surface of the earth. Whoever that projected this sickness also walks on the surface of the earth. I also use that earth as a point of contact. That earth as a point of contact, that is sand, to cleanse myself today. And I declare their evil projections goes back to them. Their evil manipulation goes back to them. Their wickedness goes back to them as i've decreed it as i've commanded it so shall it be amen so you bait remember you're going to add salt into that water then you also pray psalm 35 i forgot to say it at the beginning in the water before you start baiting you're going to add salt you're going to pray psalm 35 content those content with those who content with me that is what you're going to pray in the water then as you're now baiting and you're now making your declarations you will also be speaking lord content with those who content with me cleanse me entirely cleanse me thoroughly cleanse me completely content with my enemies fight against my enemies destroy my enemies as they are plotting against me may they be destroyed in the name of jesus amen so that is your prayer when you're done praying don't clean your body come out you're going to do this for seven days for seven consecutive days as you're doing it accept your family members any other person that comes to ask you oh what's this thing that is wrong with you what have you done about it don't say anything except you're telling your siblings your family members, your husband, your wife, and you know they will not hurt you. But any other person, do not talk to them. Do not speak to them. Just ignore them. Tell them God is in control. And make your prayers for seven days. And I believe that after seven days, you'll be healed completely. Do this with complete faith. And I tell you, you will come back with a testimony. I've given this particular prayer to so many people and they always return back 
with thanksgiving. This prayer was first done by my mom so that you will know how serious it was. It was first done by my mom when they projected something in her life. So that is why I'm giving it to you. So try as much as possible and do it. And you will notice that those moving objects will stop. And in the name of Jesus, indeed, you won't experience it again in Jesus' name. God bless each and every one of you. Thank you all for being here. Have an amazing day. Enjoy the rest of your day. If you've watched up until this point, do not forget to share to other people and give the video a thumbs up. God bless you. Bye-bye.